So, we did this fantastic party for MTV. We did quite a few of them actually during the Cannes Film Festival. And um, MTV used to have a film that they used to promote. Uh, we did one for Kung Fu Hustle, which was in a, a, a mansion in Super Cannes one year. And I remember we took all the water out of the swimming pool. Well, I said, let's take the water out of the swimming pool and turn it into a sunken dance floor that was completely fully carpeted in black carpet. And then we made all these enormous cushions and and then it was like a pillow fight in the in the swimming pool, which was anyway. But that was that was that story. That was for Kung Fu Hustle. And then the following year, MTV um, said to me, um, "We're going to do a party again for the Cannes F Film Festival, and we're going to be in Pierre Cardin's house, which is known as the Palais Boule because it is." huge bubbles. The whole house is made of bubbles. And um, we, we haven't got a film. What are we going to do? We haven't got a film. So maybe we can't do it. And I went, you really haven't got a film? I'll, we'll sh I'll shoot the film. So basically I said, give us some money. And this, you know, it was a few years ago when there was a little, you know, bit of money in the MTV coffers. And I shot this film all about the circle and the magic of the circle in the 1960s. And I fe featured my mum. It featured Lulu Kennedy. It featured my boyfriend at the time. We borrowed someone's Rolls Royce and it was, a, it was all shot on Super 8 as well. And it was this whole film about the magic of the circle and you know people getting very excited about it and then we did this fantastic party where we projected the film and there was all these like proper filmmakers there I think even Harvey Weinstein was there um, and they were what you know watched our film while we had this party um, and I actually carried on the carpet theme a bit there as well like we carpeted the whole garden as well so <laughs> And then with one of the other things we did, there was a garage. When I say it was a garage, it was one of the most beautiful garages ever. It was all based on the circle. And we needed another dance floor because there was a, about a thousand people coming. We managed to secure a car revolve that you would use in an, in an exhibition. Um, you know, those awful car exhibitions. And it, so it wasn't really meant for humans. It was meant for cars. And there was a guy that came to operate the Revolve and he was the only person that could operate the Revolve. Anyway, we put, we made a revolving dance floor. So when you got on the floor, he had the button to revolve you. And he basically started doing it faster and faster. <laughs> And people would literally, I think we had things that you could hang on to when you were on it. It was a bit like a merry-go-round, but a dance floor at the same time. And um, he just thought it was the funniest thing ever because people were literally flying off the dance floor. In the good old days before health and safety.